In this video, we will go through some examples of how medieval Islamic scholars added, subtracted, and multiplied sexagesimal numbers. Let's start with addition, where we will use Kushar's method and add the sexagesimal number 34 degrees, 42 minutes, and 15 seconds to the number 33 degrees, 19 minutes, and 35 seconds. First, we draw two lines on our page. The larger number will be listed on the right side of the lines, and the smaller number will be listed on the left. Make sure that the units of the two numbers align. In this case, the degrees will be at the top. We will find our answer in the space between the lines. First, let's look at the top two numbers, 33 degrees and 34 degrees. We now add these two numbers, 34 plus 33 equals 67. Now, our answer is above the number 60, meaning that, because we are using the sexagesimal system, we now need two digits to represent the number. Keep in mind that the sexagesimal digits are 0 through 59, so what one thinks is a two-digit number less than 60 in the decimal system is actually a single digit in the sexagesimal. Thus, 67 equals 1 times 60 plus 7. Now we place our answer in between the two lines, aligned with the two numbers we were adding. Thus, we place 7 between 33 and 34. And, because we are moving one unit up, we place the 1 above the 7. Because the 7 is in the degrees place, the 1 would be in the next unit above degrees, the first elevates. Now we move on to the next row, where we are adding 19 to 42. 19 plus 42 is 61. Again, since our answer is above 60, we need two digits to represent it. 61 equals 1 times 60 plus 1. Like before, we begin placing our answer between the two lines, aligned with the numbers we were adding. Thus, the 1 would be placed between 19 and 42. However, we also have a second digit in the units place above minutes, so we add the 1 to the degrees place, changing it from 7 to 8. Now let's look at the last two numbers. Here we are adding 15 to 35, which is equal to 50. Because 50 is less than 60, we only need one digit to represent it. Thus, we write 50 in between the 15 and the 35. Now we have obtained our answer, which is 1 first elevate, 8 degrees, 1 minute, and 50 seconds. Now we will look at how to subtract using Kushar's method and the same two numbers, 34 degrees, 42 minutes, 15 seconds, minus 33 degrees, 19 minutes, and 35 seconds. Sexagesimal subtraction is set up almost identically to addition. Again, we start out with the two lines with the larger number written on the right side and the smaller number written on the left. We will again be obtaining our answer in the middle. First, we subtract the first two digits of the numbers, the degrees, 34 minus 33, which is 1. Keep in mind that the diagram is being read right to left, and you are subtracting the number on the left side of the diagram from the number on the right. We write out our answer in between the two digits, just as we did in addition. We can then move on to the next digits, the minutes. 42 minus 19 equals 23, and write 23 in between the two lines. Now we can subtract the last two digits, the seconds. Now because 15 is smaller than 35, we need to borrow from the unit above. Thus, we subtract 1 minute from 23 minutes and add 60 seconds to 15 seconds, keeping in mind that 1 minute equals 60 seconds. Thus, our equation is now 75 minus 35 equals 40. We have now obtained our answer in the middle of the two lines. Thus, 34 degrees 42 minutes and 15 seconds minus 33 degrees 19 minutes and 35 seconds is 1 degree 22 minutes and 40 seconds. Medieval Islamic scholars used three methods of sexagesimal multiplication, leveling, the multiplication table, and the lattice method. Let's begin by looking at leveling. The big picture behind leveling is that you are converting all of the units in a sexagesimal number to the lowest unit, 
in order to then use the methods for decimal numbers to multiply them. It is important, however, not to forget to convert the number back into sexagesimal in the end. Let's multiply the number 34 degrees 42 minutes by 33 first elevates and 18 degrees. The first step is to convert both sexagesimal numbers into their lowest units. Thus, 34 degrees 42 minutes is equal to 34 times 60 minutes plus 42 minutes, or 2,082 minutes. 33 first elevates and 18 degrees is equal to 33 times 60 degrees plus 18 degrees, or 1,998 degrees. Now, we simply multiply 2,082 by 1,998. Keep in mind that because we are multiplying minutes by degrees, the units of our final answer will be in minutes because 1 divided by 60 times 60 to the power of 0 is 1 divided by 60. Thus, our answer is 4,159,836 minutes. Now we must convert our number back into sexagesimal. In order to do so, we divide 4,159,836 by 60. This gives us 69,330 degrees and a remainder of 36 minutes. We must break down 69,330 degrees even further because it is above 60. Thus, we divide it by 60 again. 69,000 330 degrees divided by 60 is equal to 1,155 first elevates and a remainder of 30 degrees. We now further break down 1,155 first elevates by dividing 1,155 by 60, obtaining 19 second elevates and 15 first elevates. Thus, our final answer is 19 second elevates, 15 first elevates, 30 degrees, and 36 minutes. The second method for multiplying the sexagesimal numbers is the multiplication table. Let's multiply the number 34 degrees 42 minutes by 33 degrees and 18 minutes. This table is set up exactly like the addition table, with two lines and the larger number being written on the right, while the smaller number is written on the left. We now take the top left digit and multiply it with all digits on the right side of the table. First, we have 33 times 34, which is equal to 1,122, which, broken down into sexagesimal, is 18 times 60 plus 42. During the Middle Ages, Islamic scholars used a sexagesimal multiplication table such as this one to complete the problems. Now, we write 42 degrees aligned with the right side number we just multiplied with, and 18 first elevates in the units place above. Now we look at 33 times 42, which is 1,386, or 23 times 60 plus 6. We place the 6 next to the 42 and add 23 to the units place above. Now, because 42 plus 23 is 65, we need to divide up the number even further, adding a 1 to 18 and placing a 5 in the degrees place. Now that we have multiplied the top left number by both numbers on the right, we shift the numbers on the right hand side down one unit's place, aligning the 18 with the 34. Now we repeat the multiplication process for the digit 18 and the numbers on the right hand side. 18 times 34 is 612, which breaks down into 10 times 60 plus 12. We add the 12 to the 6 and the 10 to the 5. Finally, we are multiplying 18 by 42, which is equal to 756, or 12 times 60 plus 36. We place the 36 next to the 42, and add the 12 to the 18. We have now obtained our final answer in the center of the multiplication table. Thus, 34 degrees 42 minutes times 33 degrees 18 minutes is 19 first elevates 15 degrees 30 minutes and 36 seconds. The final method for multiplying a sexagesimal number is called the lattice method. The lattice and multiplication table methods are both essentially the same, as both make use of the distributive property as well as the multiplication table and are just organized differently. Again, we will be multiplying 34 degrees 42 minutes by 33 degrees and 18 minutes. 
To set up the lattice method, we first draw a table and divide it up into the number of digits. In this case, both numbers will have two digits, so our table will be a 2 by 2 square. We then divide each section in half using a diagonal line. We write one number on the top of the lattice and the other on the right hand side. Now we begin the multiplication process. First we look at the top right hand corner and multiply 42 by 33, obtaining 1386 or 23 times 60 plus 6. In the Middle Ages, this would have been done using a multiplication table. We place the smaller unit below the diagonal line and the larger unit above it. We now move on to the next section and multiply 42 by 18, obtaining 756 or 12 times 60 plus 36. Again, 36 is written on the bottom and 12 is written on the top. Next, we multiply 34 by 33, obtaining 1122 or 18 times 50 plus 42. We place 42 below the diagonal line and 18 above. Finally, we multiply 34 times 18, obtaining 612, or 10 times 60 plus 12. 12 is written below the diagonal line and 10 is written above it. Now that we have filled out our table, we begin adding the numbers of each unit's place together, following the diagonal lines. We begin on the, on the right hand corner, which only has one digit, 36. We know that the lowest unit of our number will be in seconds because the two smallest digits of our two numbers are in minutes, and minutes times minutes is seconds, as 1 divided by 60 times 1 divided by 60 is 1 divided by 60 squared. Thus, we can write 36 seconds. Now we move on to our next unit and add 12 plus 12 plus 6, which is equal to 30. We can now write 30 minutes besides 36 seconds. Now we move on to our next unit and add 10 plus 42 plus 23, which is equal to 75. 75 breaks down into 1 times 60 plus 15. We place the 1 into the next unit's place right beside the 18, and can write 15 degrees besides the 30 minutes and 36 seconds. Finally, we come to our last unit's place, where we add the 1 which we carried over from the previous units to the 18, obtaining 19 first elevates. Thus, our final answer is 19 first elevates, 15 degrees, 30 minutes, and 36 seconds.